Hello friends, we're back for another Zoids reaction. Today we're checking out episode 15. Now in the last episode, we got Irvine versus Raven. So Irvine was able to get like special equipment from the Republican army to fight Raven. Uh, he had some success there, ripping out like a leg from the Saber Fang, but was eventually defeated when Shadow uh, fused with it. Also, Van was able to get like the zoid knight or some rock that helps zoids from a volcano and it looks like zeke is going to be better at the end of the episode we also get major shoe bolts of the imperial army on his iron kong if i remember correctly the gorilla zoid we're definitely excited for that um so it looks like there's going to be a war this episode without further ado let's check it out Okay, some Molgas. We suffered severe losses as a result of the fortress explosion. Then we suffered delays because of this debris. No, this was all part of their plan. Yep. They know exactly what they're doing. Ugh. If you want to learn anything from this war, I suggest you never underestimate the enemy, especially not Kruger. Yep. Yes, sir. It wouldn't do the Zoids any good to sit out in the rain uncovered. You let me get absolutely nice. soaked out there. Under D? You could have what at least the hell? given me an umbrella. No one made you follow us outside. Now we have to figure out how to get you up on the roof to fix those leaks. The Imperial Army has passed the site of the Kronos Fortress, and it looks like they're heading directly towards the A2 location. It's just as we'd expected. If our predictions are correct, they'll wait for the weather to improve before renewing their attack at daybreak. You don't think they'd make a move under cover of night? Once their forces are in order, it's a possibility we have to consider. I'll get the men ready for a counterattack. No, wait. Do we know how they've been deployed? Yes. Apparently there's a mix of different units surrounding a red horn. Command at the front. You mean you're going oh. to use the ZG? But it's still in the experimental stage. No the ZG? Yet. This so is what was mentioned last now, episode. Even if it's only working at 50% of its full capability, that's still equivalent to the power of 12 Zoids. What? If you're sure. Besides, my piloting skills have become rusty lately. So why is Irvine sneaking around here? Man, what's that? Damn, is that the ZG? Okay, so we got some red horns, we have the iron kong, and a shit ton of Molga units. Major Shubal, sir, I don't understand why you would let that spy get away. It's no secret that although we're stronger, we can't move as quickly. There's no point in hiding it anymore. Using sleepers, huh? So they've made the first move. Hurry, sir! We have to counterattack! No, act rashly like that and you'll end up sacrificing your troops. Leave this to me and withdraw. Damn. We're gonna see the Kong. Ooh! Dude. Some business to take care of. Oh, Fiona? it's okay. I know where he went. It was to find Raven, yep. wasn't it? Uh... Oh, Moonbay. <laughs> hey, where uh -huh. are you going? On my way out of here, of course. I hate getting caught up in a war even more than having to pay taxes. Is Gojulus. Gojulus, huh? that you lost with all that extra firepower leads me to the conclusion that either the Saber Fang is more powerful than we thought or that you are not quite up to it. Oh. You trying to pick a fight with me? But do you really think you can do it without your... Is he going to make own? Irvine pilot the Gojelas? I don't know. If I'm saying that correctly. Well, goodbye all. Till we meet again. <laughs> your face was quite the picture. Like a little boy. I remember I used to look at Zoids like that in the early days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a mix of awe and excitement. Damn. Oh man, without Zeke here, I can't go nearly fast enough. Oh, Captain Herman, how did you get here? Came the fastest way, flew right over enemy lines. 
You did what? How could you have been so reckless? What if something had gone wrong? Don't worry. There was lots of cloud cover. Well, did you want to fight? Damn, who's gonna pilot? Is it gonna be Irvine or Herman? Probably, it's a bit of both. Hmm, sounds the same as me. I have been piloting Zoids in battle for many years now, and sometimes you can get a little jaded. You can lose sight of the real reason that made you want to become a Zoid pilot in the first place. And just what would that be? Zoids can sense our feelings and emotions and use them to enhance their own capabilities. Oh. Once we as pilots recognize that, the possibilities are endless. That's what makes it exciting. Remember this, young man. A Zoid is... Oh. Huh? They are here. Oh! Irvine, I hope I'm not too late. As I was saying, I want you to remember that a Zoid is no ordinary fighting machine. Remember that. Oh! Come on, man, get up. Huh? You're the guy from the... I've come too far to stop now. I want you to let me pilot the Gojulus. What? What? Please. With me at the controls, I know that it can achieve its full potential. Damn. That's nonsense. Dude, look at this! How big is it? Is... is that the Gojulus mobilizing? Yeah. Dude, look at that! Dude, look at this shit! Even Raven's like, let me check this Very shit fun. out. I sure hope I can find you in time. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that's gotta be the ultimate weapon. Dude, look at those scan ones. <laughs> oh, Irvine. I hope you're fine. <laughs> Irvine? Dude, look at how big that is. Think I'm worried about your firepower? I'll show you who's boss. With the Gojulus at my command, the only outcome for me in this battle is victory. Damn, boy. <laughs> Dude, it one shot Zoids. That's not possible. We can't compete against that. I wonder if it has a cannon in, in its mouth, too. Yep, catch him. Bam. I guess they have to retreat now, right? All units, retreat now. Yep. You're running away? How could you let the mighty Imperial Army be seen running away? You don't understand a thing. There's no point this, in this, anymore. This guy's an idiot, man. He's like, let's fight. Retreat. Dude, no he one shot Zoids. And watch his army be annihilated. <laughs> it looks like I didn't need C. I was able to access the power of the Shield Liger. Nice. <laughs> so this is what Kruger meant. Huh? Hi. <laughs> Dude. Damn, it's so heavy, it tipped over. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, move. Why won't it move before I've had a chance to finish the job? Ah! What an amateur. Damn. He wasn't under any pressure, and he still rounded the Gojulas. <laughs> yeah. Raven is not impressed by your performance. Not a single one. Colonel, are you alright? Yes, you won't get rid of me that easily. Although, 
I wasn't sure I was going to make it for a little while there. About time. I was getting worried. I don't want you going off on your own again, all right? Damn, <laughs> they made Van look like a child hey, when the man said them to me. Some gratitude. Huh? <laughs> all right. Time to solve the mystery of Zoid Eve. Until we get sidetracked by helping an Imperial soldier who's about to be assaulted, that is. Meanwhile, the Imperial army is steadily getting closer and closer Dude. to the city. Next time on Zoids, New Helix City. See New on Helix City. All right. Okay, so that's the that's the episode. All right, so we we get introduced to the Gojalas, which is like probably the trump card of the republican army right dude is a giant dinosaur looking zoid that one shots everything from what it looks like um and they did mention it was just about 50 percent and the 50 percent is supposed to be on par with like 12 zoids so that would mean the full power would be 24 um it was kind of funny how it tipped over when it started to mobilize and raven was not impressed by that he's like Oh my god, this guy's a noob, right? So it looks like in the next episode, we're gonna... We finally reach the capital. And there's some stuff going on there. So that's gonna be the reaction. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. See you guys on the next one. Cheers.